Well, in early 2017, it seemed like New Orleans was on track to outpace recent murder rates, but that number might actually be lower than last year. Here's Jacqueline Quinn. The beginning of 2017 started violently. The month of January ended with 22 murders, the second highest number of murders in one month for the last five years. But that pace did not keep up. Slightly fewer shootings than we had last year. Um, murders going to fall. It'll probably fall by somewhere in the 5-10% range. Eyewitness News crime analyst Jeff Asher keeps track of murders and other crimes in New Orleans. He says murders increased significantly in the first six months this year. But once summer hit, there was a sharp decrease during the balmy months. There was a, a pretty substantial sudden drop in gun violence. Until these last few months, the rates picked up. Asher believes New Orleans will end this year with close to 160 murders. If his prediction holds true, the city will end up with a lower murder rate than last year. 174 murders were committed in 2016. Looking beyond the overall numbers, Asher points out something interesting during mid-2016 and 2017. Between July 1st, 2016 and June 30th, 2017, we almost had two people shot a day. There were 722 people shot over that span. What did we do differently? If you take a look since March and April when this homicide rate was super high, and now, what did we do in the last six months? What dramatic difference did we do? Nothing, right? Exactly, nothing. NOPD Captain Michael Glasser and President of the Police Association of New Orleans believes looking at the number of people who were murdered is not enough. What you got to look at is how many people were shot last year versus how many people were shot this year because every shooting is an incomplete homicide. Now the NOPD launched a new unit to focus on shooting crimes in March. They've also aggressively recruited more officers. Glasser says it takes time for these factors to have an effect in curbing shootings. Our primary goal has been and remains to adequately staff the police department to do things that would result in lower shootings. And Asher says crimes tend to happen in cycles. NOPD is hoping to break the cycle. In New Orleans, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. And those numbers actually show that police responses to shooting incidents dropped from 2016 down to 460 from 486. But those numbers can be misleading because they don't reflect the number of victims in each case.